Hey Jerry, it's me, Lenny. 8.44 in the morning, okay? I wanted to show you how much juice a pulse controller can pull in. I put this, I put this on um, maintenance, I put it on the equalization mode. It's at 15.2 steady. It's going to hold 15.2 for 3 hours. 36 watts, 2.4 amps on a 160 watt panel. So it's 8.30 in the morning and I'm already fully charged. When we woke up this morning, the battery was at 12.3. 12.3, 12.4 it was bounced. 12.3 with the load, 12.4 without a load. So it was already at 80%. But 8.30 in the morning and the batteries are already charged. Charged enough for me to put it on equalization. So for the money, a pulse on a small system, 160 watt system, even double it even put a um, 18 amp system on here so double the panels um, a pulse will still do its job at 8 30 in the morning uh, and it, it'll 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 be bumping all the way until the sun goes down and the sun right now um, it just broke from the clouds it's gonna be a hot day so I just wanted to show just wanted to show that um, a pulse can do its job on a small system. Maybe when you when you get a lot of panels up there, and you start losing um, real estate on the roof, space on the roof for panels, then you go with a nice controller if you need more juice. We don't need a whole lot of juice on this, because we don't even have a TV in here. I took it out. We don't need TV when we're camping. Um, so. To sum up my personal opinion, pulse chargers are fine for RVs. As long, if you get a good pulse charger, if you get one of those Chinese ones, like that I first got, then yeah, you, you're going to have to learn the hard way. It's going to be a $25 mistake. <laughs> pulse chargers do their jobs. If you need one, if you need something else, because you ran out of real estate on the roof, if you need a nice uh, M. PPT or whatever computer controlled um, device to charge your batteries that's fine but a pulse unit a hundred dollar unit like this does its job and it does its job well all right that's just my personal opinion pulse chargers do their job they do them well um, and for the money if you need to you could buy another panel Buy another panel and uh, double your double your wattage, double your amps. More important, double your wattage, double your amps, and you'll still have a little bit of money left over because those MMPs cost three four hundred bucks. This costs a hundred. Panel costs one hundred and sixty five delivered. So just do the math. Um, for large applications on my house, man, I have a. I have a controller that would blow your mind. It was very expensive. It's huge. But I didn't want to put more than 22 panels on my roof. So that's why I went with that one. Well, didn't really have a choice. Anyways, Jerry, it's been nice debating with you on this. I hope to see more. I'm, not, I'm sure you're going to have a little comeback. But this is just my opinion. You're, you can have your opinion. It's cool. I want you to have an opinion. I want you to differ with me, because it makes other people think. All right, Jer, late.